So I've got my BMW almost ready to go back on the ground, but I've got a bit of a vibration problem. And here you can see why. Now that's a pretty significant wobble and here's why that's happening. This is the center bore hub on the wheel. The wheel kind of sits on this to center itself and then the bolts hold it in. Since these are bolts instead of studs, they do kind of have a bit of a, there's a little bit of wiggle in there. So you need that hub to center the wheel and even on, even on regular cars with studs, you kind of want that hub there to help center the wheel when you put it on. These forged wheels have a larger inside hub diameter than this. So what do you do about that? Well, you use what's called a hub-centric spacer ring like this, except these are 3D printed. A friend of mine, Eric, actually printed these out based on my specifications. I gave him the diameters and whatnot and uh, the height and instructed to put some chamfers on there. And uh, yeah, here they are. The only modification that they need is they actually need a cut line in them somewhere so that they can stretch to go over the center bore. So I'm gonna do that now with a hacksaw because that makes sense. Never mind. turns out this was much quicker. Now the concern here is these are ABS and brakes can get pretty hot in like a performance driving application. So this is definitely not a permanent solution. I'm just kind of seeing if this uh, helps with my vibration issues and then I'll, I'll order real spacers. The problem is it's just such a weird size combo here that it's kind of difficult to, uh, it's, it's difficult to find the right size. So there's the spacer ring there. You can see that it kind of had to stretch out a little bit to fit. And then the wheel just slips on over that and that holds it perfectly dead center. And we'll see if we still got some wobble on there once I get the wheel put on. Massive wiggle. It's seemingly gone. Alexa, play Desperado. Yep, the E46 thing has happened. My window regulator completely went out on me before I had a chance to actually film the wrap up of this video, so uh, apologies in advance for what I'm sure will be some ridiculous wind noise. I was just sitting in the Taco Bell drive-thru where I went to roll down my window. It got to about here. There was an awful grinding, and then it fell the rest of the way into the door. Looks like the front cable mount has failed, so, um, yeah, look forward to a future video on doing a uh, window regulator in an E46. Oh well. But while I'm waiting for that part to get here, let's see if my 3D printed hub-centric rings have actually fixed this car. Well, that is quite a bit of wind noise and I apologize, but uh, here we sit at 60 miles an hour and there isn't a flutter in the steering wheel. The car feels amazingly smooth. It used to be so bad that the seat back of the passenger seat would bounce forward and backwards, but uh, I can let go of the steering wheel and other than the uh, road surface moving it around a little bit, there's no shake. And that's amazing considering this car also has a bad inner tie rod and needs a steering guibo. car. I like it. These 3D printed rings aren't going to be a permanent solution. I will order real ones, but it is nice to know that this works to a good enough extent to get me to work and back until I'm able to actually order the right ones. If you want to see me do more weird fixes to old BMWs, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button or leave a comment or something. You know, everything helps.
At any rate, I'll see y'all next time. Thanks for watching.